I'm Missy Delahanty, and this is my grandmother, Mary Hawitsky, known to the world over as... Nanny Goat. Nanny Goat, <laughs> or Nanny. <laughs> my friends and family have always just called her Nanny. Um, and today, Nanny is going to be showing us how to make a family recipe that's been in her family for how long? Oh, I'd say 80 years. 80 years. So growing up uh, at all of our family holidays and gatherings, we always had a huge, delicious spread made entirely by Nanny, mm -hmm. but there was always one signature dish, and that's what she's going to be making for us today. And what is that dish? Pierogies. Pierogies. Mm -hmm. Say it again. Pierogi. 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 Am I saying it right? <laughs> yeah, you are. I am. You are. Pierogi. Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay. And A lot of people say pierogi. Pierogi. Pierogi, but we say pierogi. Pierogi. Yeah, pierogi. Yeah, okay. Yeah. And how old were you when you first learned how to make pierogi? Uh, well, I used to watch my mother make them, and... Uh, so when I got married, then uh, I start making them. So I guess I was about 25 when I start making them. Okay. And then over the years, I got better and better at it. I tried different cheeses and stuff like that. Oh, you, you know? did? You tweaked the recipe? Yeah, I did. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, and what are the main um, kinds of pierogi that you make? Uh, the potato and cheese. And then there's uh, farmer's cheese, mm -hmm. uh, cabbage, and prunes. And prune. Prune, yeah. yeah. Does anybody eat the prune? Yeah, my yeah. <laughs> uh, my sister-in-law, that was dessert for her. Dessert. She said, those pierogies prune. are my dessert. Prune, yeah. Mm. Prunes are good for you. Well, yes, they are. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Um, now, where, your mother wasn't born here. No, she was from Poland. Both my parents came from Poland. Yeah. And so they brought those recipes with them. They did. And do you know who taught your mother how to make them? Oh, I don't know. You don't know. I don't know. Probably her mother. But you grew up watching her make them? I did. And so then when you married Pop-Up, you just kind of knew how to make them already? Yeah, and uh, Pop-Up's mother made them too, so she used to help me make them. Oh, Bopchi made Bob them too. Bopchi, yeah. Okay. My mother-in-law, yeah. She was a really uh, wonderful woman, and we really, you know, they talk about mother-in-laws. Yeah. Oh, I had the best. You did. Yeah, 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 we got along great. She helped me with everything. We used to make... Krishiki. Krishiki. Now, what yeah. is Krishiki? Now, that is a bow tie, uh, it, uh, uh, a cookie. It's like a, a looks like a donut almost. Yeah. But it's a, yeah, it's a bow tie. Yeah. And uh, she taught me how to make those, and they are delicious. You put uh, powdered sugar over them when they're. You, I remember those. You deep fry up them. Too. You know, you make the bow tie. You know, you make the the dough, and it's a rich dough. And then you, you make a bow tie, and then you deep fry them in oil. And when oh, they're cool, yeah. cool off, then you uh, pour, uh, the powdered sugar over them. They're delicious. I, re I remember that's a Polish too. dish. That's too. a Polish dish too. Krzyski. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. so the pierogi is your signature dish. That's my signature dish. And today yeah. you're going to teach us how to make that. I am. Okay. Mm -hmm. So why don't we start off? Well, what are the ingredients that we need for? for well, today we're going to make what kind? Uh, potato and cheese. Potato and cheese. So what are the ingredients that we need for potato and cheese pierogi? Uh, well, do you want uh, the, the filling or do you want the dough? I want all of it, all the ingredients. Okay, well, let's start with the dough. The dough is three cups of flour, mm -hmm. two eggs, mm -hmm. uh, a, a pint of sour cream, a teaspoon of salt, and a tablespoon of oil. And uh, so you, you incorporate all that into the, you know, all of it together. And then uh, when you get like most of it together, you Put it on the board, a floured board, and you knead it. You knead it for about 10 minutes until it's soft that you could work with it. And that's the dough. Okay. Now, the filling is, uh, well, uh, when the potatoes are cooked, then you mash them, and then you put, you, uh, put whatever kind of cheese you want. I use uh, cheddar and American, and uh, uh, you put that in, and then I put uh, uh, onions and butter put that in and uh, salt pepper and uh, sometimes you have to add a little milk if you think it's too dry but usually you don't now how do you tell if it's too dry well by the texture you could tell by the texture you what want is the texture you want it should be like firm the texture shouldn't be watery okay so when after you uh, uh, mash that and you think it's firm enough then don't don't add no uh, milk okay yeah Okay. A little milk. Okay, and but, you'll show us. Yeah, you go by the consistency. It's got to be a little firm for you know to roll it to roll it up. Okay. When your dough is done, you take a, a, a piece like the size of a walnut, 
and I put, you know, rolled it into my hand and I put it on a, a floured board and I roll it out to um, uh, I, I, like a size like that, you know, that long, okay. that long. And you put your filling in there and then you fold it over and then you pinch, you pinch it all around. My mother used to braid hers. She used to braid it wow. around. I can't imagine how long that was. Uh, yeah, been. but she, I, when I used to watch her, she'd go so quick, you know, oh. it was uh, amazing. I can't do that. No. I, I just pinch them. That's okay. And then when I get a dozen done, then I boil them. And then when you put them in the boiling water, you wait until they come to the top. And once they come to the top, you let them boil for five minutes and then you drain them. Okay. You put them in a colander, you run them under the water to get that uh, film off, you know, from cooking, and then you put them in a, a, a pan. And then I, I, always, I put uh, a little oil over them to, to keep them from sticking, because when you put the next batch in, you don't want them to stick to each other. So uh, you put a little oil on them. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, then I put uh, saran wrap over that, uh, layer because I'm going to put another layer, another dozen on top of them. Oh. Put oil and then another saran wrap. Okay. Then when they cool, then you could pack them in a, I usually pack them in a plastic bag, a dozen at a time. And that's it. And then when you're eating them, you have to have them with the uh, uh, butter and uh, onion. Tell that's, me about that. Oh, that's what makes the pierogi is, is the, butter the butter and, and onion. onion. Yeah. And I like pepper on my end. You know, butter, you know, butter, onion, and pepper. And, uh, and that's it. <laughs> you and make that, it sound so easy. <laughs> well, I mean, I've been doing it for so long that know. to me it's like nothing, you know. What's your favorite kind of pierogi? I think I like the potato and cheese. Me too. I like the cabbage too, but I think that my favorite are potato and cheese. Potato and cheese. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And the butter and onions. Mm. Can't forget that. No, can't mm -hmm. forget that. I'm cutting the potatoes uh, about about that size, all of them, uh, so they cook evenly. And then you just throw them in a pot here. And uh, I cook about uh, uh, three to four pound of potatoes for uh, about three dozen of uh, pierogies. And then I have the onions and the butter in here which will go half in the uh, pierogies and then the other half over the pierogies when they're done. Okay. Now, okay, uh, you want to boil these until they're soft. You uh, put the fork in and when the potato is soft, I would say about a half hour, 40 minutes, they should be done, but test them with the fork and then drain the water, and then you're ready to uh, mash them with the cheese and uh, uh, onions and uh, salt, pepper, that's it. Okay, I'm uh, putting uh, three cups of flour in here now. Three cups. Two. Okay, I make a little well here. Okay, now what I do is I just pour this into the well. And now what I do is I incorporate all this into the flour. 
until it starts to get like a, a thick, thicker. Do this for a little while. This is the hardest uh, thing to make about pierogi, the dough. This is the hardest part. And now after that egg is incorporated there, I'm going to put the uh, sour cream. So you just put this in there like that, a pint. Keep mixing this until I, I could get it to uh, uh, into a ball, and then I'll put that on a, a board, cooking board, and I'll knead it. So this takes a little while. I usually put this down. It keeps the uh, cutting board steady. So it doesn't slide. Yeah. That's a good trick. Yeah, okay. And you just have to get in there with your hands and do that until you get it all together. Well, see, this is the hardest part, getting all this together. And see, it's very sticky. And you have to just keep kneading and kneading until, you see what I'm doing, miss? You just keep kneading that until that all, see how it's coming to a ball? Could you see that? Oh. Like I said, this is the hardest part. Okay, now what I'm gonna do, put this on the board. See what it looks like? Okay, so you just you just keep kneading and kneading, and this is going to take about ten minutes. You got to have muscle to do this, you see. And I'm eighty-six years old, and I'm still kneading. You're not eighty-six till tomorrow. Tomorrow. That's right. Big 86. I'll be doing this when I'm 90. Yes, See how nice that is? When you take a piece like that and you roll it, see, like that, and then you roll that out. So that's what we'll do. The flour on the table, that's where I'll place the pierogies when I wrap them so they don't stick, okay? Cheese into the potatoes. And uh, I just use my judgment, maybe a 
three quarters of a bar of cheese. <laughs> Because you want that cheesy flavor in the filling. Okay. I think I'm going to use the whole bar. Because there's about four pounds of potatoes there. Okay. Now I'm going to put um, uh, American cheese, about four slices. Four slices of American cheese. Four. Now I'm going to put the butter and onions that I have fried. Butter and onions. Okay. Um, I would say maybe a half a cup of uh, onions and butter. That really flavors it. I think that's about it. Now, some salt in there. And now I'm going to uh, uh, mash uh, first. To, to get in there, you know, get all that cheese and onions and butter together. Okay, so I pinch uh, uh, about the size of a walnut. See, about like that. Now, a lot of people, they roll the dough out and cut it out, but I'd rather do it like this. Put it on the board. See, you roll it out to about like that size. See, that size? About, yeah, about a teaspoon. Then you just uh, roll it over like that and you pinch. Make sure you pinch really good, really hard so they don't come apart. That's about it.
Okay, so you get your onions and butter, pour them over there. Uh, I like a little pepper on them, I like that. And that's how you make pierogies. Yummy. Mmm, delicious. Mmm, mmm, melt in your mouth. Mmm. Wow. Nothing like a pierogi. Mmm. 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 Cut. Drifting on me and Ogi, a moy, a drifting on me and Ogi. Drifting, I drifting, I just hold you watch.